Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials. Today we're going to be talking about this guy, the Pico, because there's plenty of news. But first, just need to change a bit. All right, this is a bit better. So Pico, as we were just saying, have been able to raise 37.4 million US dollars. Now the Chinese are not playing and they really mean what they say as they put their money where their mouth is in terms of the investment in virtual reality as China is probably the biggest market in the world at the moment when it comes to virtual reality. Now, what does this mean? It also means that Pico have announced officially the release of the Pico Neo 3 for 2021, which is very exciting for the world of VR as we just did a video, which you could go and catch in the link description below the like button about HTC, who will be apparently revealing their own VR headset this year as well. Now the Pico Neo 2, specifically the Pico Neo 2i, which features eye tracking technology, was voted by Times Magazine as one of the top 100 best inventions of the year 2020. Now Pico focused primarily on the enterprise market, of course, but you know, their Snapdragon 845 inside is more than enough to really provide some really decent graphics when you're using the Pico Neo 2. Now Pico Interactive, as they're known, have collaborated with a number of different companies, launching the world's first, for example, telehealth clinic out of Israel, as well as working with various different military bases around the world in training the military for preparation into, you know, having to go to war and all these kind of things using their VR headsets. It's a great alternative to Facebook as there are no privacy concerns when using the Pico Neo 2. Now, one of the downsides of the Pico Neo 2, which hopefully they'll be able to address in the Pico Neo 3, is the IPD adjustment. At the moment, there is no IPD adjustment inside of the Pico Neo 2, which means it might not make everybody feel comfortable. And also, there are some issues with color aberration around the lenses. So hopefully, they can address these kind of concerns. Now, there have been a couple of update patches, which has made the actual user interface inside of the Pico much more user-friendly and much better in terms of graphics. There's much less jagged edges and all this kind of thing. So it looks much more crisp. Also, the latency has been reduced when streaming it to the PC using the wireless capabilities. However, it's still not as good as the wireless, you know, virtual desktop on the Oculus Quest by Facebook. So hopefully they can get closer to that with less latency, more power so that, you know, we can stream all our applications for developers who are doing it via the PC then using it wirelessly to the Pico Neo 3. There is no official date to the actual launch itself and also no official price in terms of, you know, specs for the resolution. We're looking at least at 4K per eye because that is the resolution used currently with the Pico Neo 2. So hopefully it could be even higher than that. In terms of price, I would imagine it's going to be between 500 to perhaps 800 US dollars. And then perhaps they will have another model with eye tracking technology, more for the pro enterprise companies that perhaps could be, you know, a thousand US dollars to 1500 US dollars. Who knows? But all in all, very exciting for the VR industry coming very soon. For more information about the recent investment in Pico Interactive and also more news about this video clip, do go to the link in the description below, which will redirect you to the VRessentials.io's website.